Hello, today we are going to do 368 divided by 8. So make sure you draw a fact triangle, please, so that you can see how these numbers relate to each other, meaning we're doing 368 divided by 8, but we're also thinking about then 8 times what equals 368. And that's why when we do the standard algorithm, we do some dividing, but we're also multiplying back to see how close we're getting up to that number. <clears throat> Here are our steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Does McDonald's sell burgers? That's how I remember it. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first step is to divide. So we would take this number and we would do three divided by eight, except you can't do three divided by eight. That's not possible. So we need to pick, <clears throat> that first number needs to be something that eight can fit into. So in that case, when that happens, you're just gonna take this number here instead. So we'll do the same steps, but instead of three, we'll do 36. So we're going to do 36 divided by eight. Now, eight is not a factor of 36, meaning you can't do eight times something to get to it, but you can get close. And that's why we have all these steps because most of the time we won't get exactly there, we'll get close and then we'll multiply it and figure out what's left over. So eight times something gets you close to 36. If you know your fact families, then you will know this or you can skip count those eights until you get close to 36 without going over. So if you go over, that doesn't count. One, two, three, four. Eight times four is 32, which gets you pretty close. And we will have a remainder, right? We won't get all the way up to 36. But that's what this next step is for, is to see that. So this is the last thing we touched, and now we'll multiply. So we'll do four times eight and put it down here. Four times eight is 32. That's as close as we could get, and then we'll subtract to figure out the remainder. 36 minus 32 <clears throat> is 4. All right, that's the last thing we touched, so we're going to work in this area, and now we're going to bring down. What are we bringing down? Well, you already used these, so now you're going to bring down the 8. Now, using the last thing we touched, we're going to do the next step, which is divide. So now we'll do 48 divided by eight. Now, if you know your multiplication chart, then you know that 48 can be divided by eight. Something times eight is 48, but you already did some skip counting work up here, so you could just keep skip counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight times six is 48, therefore 48 divided by eight is six. Multiply it out to check if you have any remainder. Six times eight is 48. Subtract zero, you're done. If this was a one or a two or a three, you'd put it up here as a remainder. But this fit in perfectly. 368 can be divided by eight, and our answer is 46, our quotient, I should say. Now, if we're saying 368 divided by eight is 46, we are also claiming that 46 times eight equals 368. So I need you to double check that with multiplication. Eight times six is 48. Eight times six is, <clears throat> sorry, eight times four is 32 plus four is 36, so 368 divided by 8 is 46.